sofa sonic super sofa sonic sofa sonic sonic good evening i'm steve von till and welcome to my home studio i'm honored to be a part of sofa sonic 2020 uh, just last year, I had the great pleasure of performing with Neurosis at Supersonic in Birmingham, where we played the historic and beautiful Town Hall, along with Godflesh. What an incredible evening. We also got to tour the Black Sabbath exhibit at the museum across the way. But probably my biggest takeaway from Supersonic was the incredibly inspiring way in which they authentically engage the local community. Even to the point of making sure that the children have good and interesting concerts from the underground. So thanks for having me. I wish we could all be in person, maybe somewhere down the road. I'm going to read you some poems from my first published work, Harvest Man, 23 untitled poems and collected lyrics. Published by Astrophil Press out on August 7th. Midnight migrations of mind toward pastures of delusion, hanging halfway over the dark edge of that sheer and craggy cliff that towers high above reason. With a skull full of stars and a moon full of hearts, we weep the deadly river and drift back to its source, the headwaters of ourselves. It is written on one's skin that death often precedes the execution of well-laid plans and conspiracies, so cruel and yet so beautiful. The kiss of the infinite falls upon you maybe once in a lifetime when stars are uncrossed and wise words echo. You recognize the madman in yourself. I look forward to look other, forward ways, to of other dying. ways of dying, ways, of dying. ways, of dying. ways that won't affect, that won't the, affect internal the internal weather. Internal weather. Internal weather. But now it is too but late. Now it is too late. Now it is too late. We will commit that will sin, commit again. That sin again. Making the same, Making the damn, same mistake. damn mistake. Damn mistake. Only this time. Only this time. Time. It will cut much deeper. Cut much deeper. Cut much deeper. Straight toward the maddening waters. The maddening waters. We descend into, we the, descend clay into the clay and disappear, and disappear, and disappear. in a thundering range. To reach for our own decay. Spirits burn in the distance, calling down the debris of generations, searching for forever, afraid of rising, like a river's edge to nowhere. 
Borrowing light from grief, we honor our relations. The arc of your words will never cease to inspire revolt in the herd. A spark goes off in the barren. The desert creates itself with a word. Where fear is king, mouths are spiteful, and we choke on the smoke of lepers. Mercurial by nature, the seeker is never satisfied. When we learn how to see the ritual architecture, we will know how to ask if the sea is, in fact, deep enough to hold all we would burden her with. One-eyed man of the ocean lies in a state of disease, and in desperation seeks to kill the man with the sun. Yet only the vows of nature can dislodge the infected nights from the misanthropic. Tenuous hold at best, reaching for the source, the source of breath. There in that wilderness, as it now remains nowhere, where nothing yet exists, save the solemn distances between us. stars of their righteousness, damn their condescending gaze, as if anything has ever come of ice. 
What are we really? What are we really? What are we really? But the stories we tell ourselves. Carbon forged in dying stars. Taking a temporary shape. To dream. To dream. To struggle. To struggle. To disappear. To disappear. That which we adore is so incredibly fragile. As we cling to some sense of cosmic order, only for a brief moment are we ever stable, then fall back to our fractured nature. Is there any such thing as rest in our universe? I will not fall prey to the spirit of the age. I will dive deep into the oldest waters where the light is so ancient that it taught songs to the gods. circumnavigate the falls as lightning strikes the wonder and transcends watched omens with the fierce radiance of a proud horse. Iron and rust run through the coals to quench in oil with a consuming hunger to rise when fires flare. Inhabiting the imminent need of nature itself.
Thank you. This is a song off my new record, No Wilderness Deep Enough. This is the old straight track.
This is a traditional song. And am I born to die? To lay this body down And must my trembling spirit fly into a world unknown and must my trembling spirit fly into a world unknown Soon as from earth I go What will become of me Eternal happiness or oh, woe must then my portion be each no happiness so oh, woe must then my portion be A land of deepest shade Unpierced by human thought That weary region of the dead Where all Things are forgot That weary region of the dead Where all things are forgot Thank you.